In the previous video, we looked at linear transformations to determine if they are one-to-one. -one. In this video, we look at linear transformations and determine if they are onto. So again, the word onto is another property that a linear transformation can have or not have. In part A, we're going to look at this linear transformation, and we're going to determine if this linear transformation is onto. So just looking at this, this is a 3x3 three three matrix, which means that it takes elements in R3 and returns elements in R3. What does it mean to be onto? It's onto, this linear transformation is an onto transformation if its columns span R3. If the columns of A span R3, that means I can literally combine them to reach any point that I want in R3, which is the definition of onto. Onto means I can get to every single point in the space that I would like to reach. So really when answering the question, is this linear transformation onto, that's equivalent to checking if the columns of the standard matrix representation span the space. So to answer the question onto, I really need to determine this question right here. Do the columns of A span R3? R3 is this R3. It's the output of the linear transformation. In this particular example, we're working with some, a transformation that takes us from R3 to R3, but in general, what we need to do is span the output space. So the R3 that we're pointing to right here is this R3. So how, how do we do this? To span R3, how many vectors do we need? Well, we know that we need three vectors, and they all need to be linearly independent. So if these vectors are going to span R3, I really just need to make sure that they're linearly independent because I already have three of them. There's three vectors right here. So answering the question, do these columns span R3, boils down to, are these three vectors linearly independent? So is this set of vectors, 1, 3, 2, a negative 3, 0, 1, and 4, 0, 1, are these linearly independent? That's the question we need to answer. They are independent. In the previous video, the one about one-to-one -one linear transformations, we actually went through the math and we figured out that when we s construct an augmented matrix corresponding to the homogeneous system of equations for this matrix, we end up getting just the trivial solution. And that tells us that these vectors are linearly independent. So since these vectors are linearly independent and there are three of them, we know that they span R3. Since they span R3, that means that we can reach any point in R3 that we would like by choosing coefficients to weight and sum these vectors appropriately. So this linear transformation is onto. Let's take a look at another one. So this is going to be the same matrix we saw before. I've just changed this element, just one element, to three. We're going to ask the same question. Is this an onto transformation? Again, this takes elements from R3 to R3, and we want to know, is it onto? Which means, can I reach any point in R3 here that I would like? So, equivalently, we're asking, do the columns of A span R3? Yes or no? To figure out if they span R3, I can determine that by figuring out if I have three linearly independent vectors, or if I have three linear, linearly dependent vectors. So again, the question is, given this set of vectors, are they linearly independent or linearly dependent? These are not independent. Again, in the previous video, we went through the math, we constructed an augmented matrix corresponding to the homogeneous system of equations, and it turned out that we had an infinite number of solutions because we ended up with a free variable. This implies that these vectors are dependent. So since they're dependent, they're not independent, which means that our linear transformation is not onto. I cannot reach every point R in R3 that I would like to because I don't have three independent vectors. I have three vectors, but they are linearly dependent. So this linear transformation is not onto. So that's the end of this example. We've been exploring the property of what it means to be onto for a linear transformation. A linear transformation is onto if every point can be reached. In this case, that was the set of points R3. To check if you can reach every point in R3, you need to check if you can span R3. Checking if something spans a space is equivalent to determining if the collection of vectors is linearly independent or dependent. And you can check that by constructing a set of or an equation corresponding to the homogeneous system of equations and seeing if you have a trivial solution or a non-trivial solution. 
We did that in the previous video, all the details. In this example, we've just used those results. We didn't go through all the details in solving for the trivial solution or more than just the trivial solution. We just used the previous results. But the key is being able to check for the span.